Thomas Wyatt wrote this. The lover's lute cannot be blamed, <clears throat> though it sings of his lady's unkindness. Blame not my lute, for he must sound of this or that of like of me. To lack of which the lute is bound to give such tunes as pleased with me. Though my songs be somewhat strange, and speak such words as touch thy change, blame not my lute. My lute, alas, does not offend, though that for Perforce he must agree, sound such tunes as I intend. To sing to them that hurteth me, and through my songs be somewhat plain, and touch a sum that used to feign, blame not my lute. My lute and strings may not obey, but I strike they must obey. Break not them so wrongfully, but wreck thyself some other way. And though the songs of which I indict do quit thy change with rightful spite, Blame not my lute. Spite ask, ask a spite and changing change, and falsely faith must needs be known. The great so great, the case so strange, of right it must aboard be, aboard be blown. But since by then own desert, my songs do tell how the, true thy art, blame not my lute. Blame but thyself thus hast misdone, and well deserve to have blame. Change thou thy way, so evil be gone, and then my lute shall sound the same. But if till then my fingers play, by thy desert thy wanted way, blame not my lute. Farewell, all known, although thou break, my strings in spite with great disdain. Yet have I found out for thy sake, strings for string my lute again. And if perchance the steely rhyme do make thee blush at any time, Blame not my lute.